Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to separate a single line text into a multiple columns and also I will show you how to merge the multiple column text into a single column. Let's start the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I have just opened the MS Excel application. The file name is a book one. Here in the sheet one, let's add some data in the first column A. First name, first name, space, last name, and gender. Gender. Notice the first name, last name, and gender is in the only one column. Now first name is a Charan, last name is a K, I am giving space between these two uh, letters, male, Peter, La is male, Lily, Brown is uh, brown, uh, Lily, Brown is female, Shanti, Kumari is um, Female Raju and boy is male Kumar Singh is male. In the first tutorial I want to separate the multiple lines into a multiple columns. It's a single line text into a multiple columns. The first name I want to show in the A column, the last name in the B column and the gender and it will be in the C column. So for that, highlight the column A, go to data, notice in this data there is a data tools, inside this data tools there is a text to columns option, click that one. And here we got one wizard window open which contains two radio buttons option. The first one is a delimiter. Is by default it selected. If it's not selected, select that one, the radio button. After that, click next. Now here we got some del delimiters options. The space is selected because I have given space between the letters. So by default, if any checkbox is selected and select that one only select the space because here I want to separate the text based on the space so here I am selecting the space then click next before that check the data preview is already separated click next and this is the output click finish see here we got the first name last name and gender and now um, first name and last name let's add in the middle now my next tutorial is I want to merge multiple text columns into a single tag uh, single column so let's use this F column the first name last name and gender I want to add these three columns into this F column so I am merging these three columns. So for that, let's select the F1 cell, which is a cell name. F1 is a cell name. The, now the formula is is equals to concrete method. The text one it takes the parameters. Text one is the A is a column, one is a row. So I am adding the cell name A1, comma double quotes let's give some space comma b1 the last name i have selected b is a column name and one is a cell a row name so b1 comma let's add some space c1 let's close this function enter notice here the first name last name and gender has been added these three columns now it's in a single column now we require this data also so highlight this f1 cell come to the corner 
once you got the plus symbol the black plus symbol drag up to the bottom and notice we got the data the employee records also first name last name and uh, the gender also is displayed but here one problem is when we concatenate the multiple cells multiple columns in the single column suppose if i delete any particular column for example if i delete the b column notice what will happen notice here the reference the concatenator it's showing the wrong information because the data has been deleted so to maintain this the same data without losing let's add the b column here what you will have to do is let's first highlight this f1 to f7 copy this column copy now here i'm pasting on the f11 cell right click the mouse in the paste options the second option notice the paste values and I'm, I'm pasting the values now now we'll, now let's delete any particular column we'll check the result if i delete column a notice here here the reference a e column which we have used the concatenate function it's showing the wrong information because the data has been deleted but below we have pasted the original value still the data has been showing so this is how let's add the data first name so this is how without losing the data we can merge cells thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial